you know, I decided to do Lawrence until they offered me no money. <laughs> you know, they thought they were giving me such a favour that they offered me practically nothing. So I argued with Sam about it, but in the end, I did it. But an interesting thing is that a few years ago, many years after I cut it, I came across a letter in a bunk sort of knickknacks saying, Dear Mr. Spiegel, I'm afraid I can't cut Lawrence of Arabia because you're not offering enough money. And, and you know, went on in that vein saying that I wouldn't do it. Now, the interesting thing is about that is that I obviously never sent the letter. <laughs> Otherwise, I doubt very much if I'd be standing here today. And then another, just one more little interesting thing is, Sam had said to my agent, once she cuts Lawrence, she'll be able to ask for any money. So that was okay. Seven years, <laughs> se seven years later, I had to do a recut for television, which David didn't want to do, but we did it together. And uh, I asked for a lot of money. So I knew there was nobody else that could do it except me. <laughs> and Sam Spiegel said, what does she think she's doing asking this sort of money? Well, my, I said to my agent, say, you said once she cut Lawrence, she could ask for any, or any money she liked. <laughs> And she is, and he paid me. <laughs> <laughs>